In recent days, Mount Rainier, Washington's tallest and most iconic volcano, has experienced a dramatic increase in seismic activity. Starting July 8th, over 100 small earthquakes were recorded near the summit, many of them striking every few minutes. If you like what we do here, please subscribe and hit the like button. Also, leave your comments below. It helps us grow. While the largest quake registered just a magnitude 1.7, barely strong enough to be felt. This swarm is the most significant Rainier has seen since 2009. According to scientists at the USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory, this pattern of activity is consistent with fluid movement deep underground. That fluid is likely hydrothermal, meaning superheated water and gases rather than magma, but the swarm has definitely caught their attention. Despite the flurry of tremors, the volcano's alert level remains at green or normal. There are no signs of surface deformation, unusual gas emissions, or visual changes around the summit. Still, Rainier's history as one of the most dangerous volcanoes in North America keeps it under close surveillance. The mountain is covered in glaciers, and even a small eruption could lead to massive lahars or volcanic mud flows that threaten threaten nearby communities like Orting and Puyallup. The increased seismic activity is a stark reminder that this sleeping giant is alive and being watched closely. Meanwhile, hundreds of miles offshore, something very different is happening beneath the Pacific Ocean. The Axial Seamount, an underwater volcano about 300 miles west of Oregon, is showing signs that it's nearing another eruption. Scientists have detected more than 1,000 small earthquakes per day, accompanied by measurable uplift of the ocean floor. This pattern mirrors what was seen before previous eruptions in 1998, 2011, and 2015. If the cycle holds, the next eruption could happen before the end of this year. Thankfully, Axial Seamount poses no direct threat to human life. It sits over 4,000 feet beneath the sea surface, and any eruption would be completely underwater. However, it is one of the best studied volcanoes in the world thanks to the University of Washington's regional cabled array, a system of underwater instruments that allows scientists to monitor the volcano in real time. Researchers may even be able to live stream the eruption when it happens. Elsewhere in the Cascades, from Mount Hood to Mount St. Helens, activity remains at background levels with no signs of imminent unrest. But with both Mount Rainier near an axial seamount showing signs of awakening, the Pacific Northwest remains one of the most geologically active regions in North America. As always, it's not about panic, but preparedness.